Do you remember these? They are the original Bomb Pop. They are cherry, lime, and blue raspberry. One of the things that I love so much about this popsicle is it's creamy, so it's not really hard when you bite it. Mmm. It just melts in your mouth. Well, guess what? Today, I'm gonna make a frozen cocktail. You can make this with or without alcohol, and it's so absolutely delicious and refreshing and just as creamy. Welcome to the Salted Pepper, where we cook for real life using real food and we keep it real simple. Today we're not cooking though, today we are mixing up a cocktail. And this is going to be kind of my take on a bomb pop, which is, like I said earlier, cherry, lime, and blue raspberry. So to do this, I have a couple of different vodkas, and I choose to use vodka because that's my preference, but if you don't wanna use any alcohol, you can do that too, and I'll have those instructions on my website for you to review. But let's get started, it's so easy. I'm gonna make enough for four cocktails, but we're gonna use some baggies because we're gonna put them in there while we make the different layers. So this is a great drink that you can make ahead of time and you don't have to make it in small quantities. You can make whole pitchers full and then when you're having an outdoor party, you can just grab them out of the freezer, cut the bag and squeeze them into your drink glasses. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is do the cherry layer. Now I'm using a, a Ninja blender and what I like about this blender for making ice drinks is this twisty thing here, okay? Because it pushes the ice down as it's blending and it gets everything really, really smooth. But any high speed blender will work just fine. It's the ratios that you need to pay attention to, okay? And that is one cup of ice. Now, one cup of ice. Ice comes in different, uh, different sizes, right? So I'm using regular ice from our ice maker, which is in this shape and it's eight ounces of ice is one cup, okay? So in case you wanna actually weigh it out, you can certainly do that. All right, that looks good. So we're gonna put that into the cup here, and you can see it is pretty full. In fact, I would not be able to get my lid on right now, but once I add in the alcohol and the water, it's gonna kind of settle down. All right, now what I have here is one ounce of a berry vodka. You could use plain vodka if you wanted to because we're gonna add some cherry like drink mix to it, but I like the New Amsterdam red berry and it just adds a little boost of flavor, so that's what I'm using. And the cherry drink mix is actually, it was Walmart brand and it's the sugar-free kind, so I like that. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in and that is one teaspoon. Now, of course, you can adjust these to your liking. So if you don't think it's cherry enough or maybe it's too cherry, you can cut back or increase. The powder will not make a difference. Now, in order to get this blended up nicely, we need to add a little bit of water. And I'm using two tablespoons. All right. See how the ice sort of started to settle down? So now we should be able to get our lid on. Sometimes it takes a little bit of kind of adjusting the ice a little bit so that it goes on evenly. There we go. All right, so that's on. Now I'm gonna put this into the blender here and we're gonna go on extract, okay? That is gonna really produce a smooth, smooth slushy almost. I mean, really, you could emit the alcohol and make a little slushies, it'd be delicious. All right, now remove this from the blender, tap down, and then open up the lid here, and look at this. It is absolutely perfect. Okay, so now while I make up the other two layers, I'm gonna put this into a little baggie and throw it in the freezer so it doesn't start to melt before I'm ready for it. And I like to kind of hold it and make a little cuff here. I just think it makes it easier. You can spoon it out however you want. It won't really pour out though because it's a little too thick. But I just cannot tell you how wonderful 
the consistency of this is. It is so creamy. You can't tell that there's any ice in it. It's just wonderful texture. All right, now that I've got a little bit there, now I can go like this, get the rest out, and then I'll pop this bag in the freezer, rinse out the cup because we don't want the red to carry on to the white layer, and then we'll get on to the lime layer. All right, so this layer with the limeade, there's a couple of choices, all right? You could use a plain vodka, which I like Tito's, or if you can find the Western Sun lime flavored vodka, you can use that. Now, what I noticed when I did it with the lime vodka is it was a little bitter, so I wasn't as thrilled with it. I mean, I love the lime vodka with some club soda, but in the drink, I just thought it was a little bitter. So I'm using plain for this. Start off the same way, one cup of ice one ounce of the vodka. And now the limeade that I could find was again a Walmart brand and it is, I think, sugar-free. And I use one teaspoon. If it's too limey or, or sour for you, you could always add in a little bit of sugar, okay? Same two tablespoons of water. And we'll put the lid on and we'll do the exact same thing and I'll get it into the bag, into the freezer, and then we'll get the third layer done. All right, I stopped it because I didn't have any trouble putting the lid on that time and I noticed as it's blending, it needs a little more ice, okay? So I was just a little bit shy on the ice department. And I don't, I want them to be the same consistency when they go in to the uh, glass. So I'm gonna put in a couple more cubes of ice. So use your judgment with that, you know? If it's looking too liquidy, just take it off and add some more ice, okay? into the freezer, we're gonna rinse out everything, and then we'll get on to the third layer. All right, again, eight ounces of ice, which is about a cup, depending on the shape of your ice, and one ounce of vodka. This time I'm using Svedka Blue Raspberry, of course, which is just a delightful flavor. And then we're gonna add in, this is Walmart brand again, it is liquid blue raspberry. This is sugar free. You can use any kind of blue flavored drink mix though. And again, I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of this. And then we will put in water and do the same thing again. And then we will assemble our drink and it's that easy. All right, I stopped it early because it was done. So you don't have to go the entire time. Once you know it's completely blended, it's best to stop the blender because the blade spinning generates heat and so it's just going to melt you know, your slushy, because that's essentially what it is right now, um, and the more it spins. So once it's done, it's done. Now you can see there's a little bit of difference between the first layer and then the second and third. And that really is because I used liquid instead of powder. And probably I should have gone to one and a half tablespoons, but it's still a great consistency. I mean, it's still wonderful, all right? So use your judgment on that. If you want to, um, you know, take the water down a little bit, then take it down. You know, try one tablespoon, see how it blends. As long as it's blending and smoothing out for you, it's perfect. You can also increase the alcohol in this if you want to. So you could add, you know, an ounce and a half or even two ounces and omit the water altogether, all right? So let's go ahead and, since I've got the spoon in there, I'll spoon some in. All right, there we go. Now, while I clean up here to get ready to assemble, I am gonna pop this in the freezer. And you can leave them in the freezer. Now, if you leave them in for you know several hours to overnight, you might find that they freeze, especially if you don't have enough alcohol or you went you know with the kid-friendly version. 
they might freeze into a block. So what you want to do is make sure that you can get it back into your blender to kind of spin right before you serve it. So you won't want it, you don't want it to freeze in a big block like that. Maybe like this, and then when it's, if it's frozen solid and you need to re-spin it, you can fit it back in your blender, obviously out of the bag. Um, or you could put them into ice cube trays if you wanted to do it that way. But as long as there's enough alcohol in there, you'll be okay, it will not freeze totally, okay? All right, I'm gonna pop this in and then we'll get cleaned up and we'll assemble our cocktail. All right, so you can layer this any way you like, but I start with the red layer and I just kind of cut a corner off of the bag and then squeeze it in. Now, depending on the style of your glass, you'll see that this will go into the bottom and you wanna kind of get it to settle down in there. The bottom is bulb, so it's gonna take a little bit more but I still think you can get four of these glasses out of this one recipe. All right, next, white. I'll probably put a little bit more in there. Let me do a little bit more. There we go, maybe three of these. Okay. And then the white goes in. And then the blue. I probably could have left them in the freezer just a little bit longer. But I'm in a hurry, right? And then the blue goes on top, like that. And then for the final touch, grab a bomb pop. Put it in the side here like that, and then your straw. Isn't that beautiful? And it tastes absolutely delicious. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I absolutely love this drink. It is so much fun to make. It is so colorful and beautiful. And if you don't want to freeze it, you can make it just by shaking it with ice and then pouring in, um, you know, some of the layers. But they're going to kind of mix together unless you do it a little bit differently. So I will go over that on my website as well. Cheers.